Okay, rolling. Rolling. So what are we today, Mark? This isn't an insight, is it? This is no, more it's not. Of a, it's not it's a catch up review show. Yeah, our last review show we um, mentioned clones by Valerino, yeah. JP Valerino. We which, tried to review it for you, which but we really like the look of. The link wasn't live. Yeah, so, so we couldn't. So a quick, um, and this is um, we both sat down and thoroughly watched this. Uh, to see what it's all about. With After that. we both sat around with the box and went, um, okay, I can kind of see how this is going to yeah. work, then I'm not quite sure. But we needed to watch it to be sure. So what is it? It's a remake of a very, very, very old trick. Yeah, the Sympathetic Cards is quite an old plot in yeah. Magic. And uh, the last version that had any um, impact. worldwide acclaim impact yeah. was Sympathetic 10. From By Card Shark. Card Shark. Using right. their Phoenix cards. Yeah. Uh, both of us have worked that. Yep. That's been in both of our sets. That's right. And um, we've enjoyed it, we reviewed it as well, I remember mm. doing it. And yeah, that's a very nice mix. And so of course when this came out, we, we thought, thought mm, we like the We like the concept, the we concept. like performing it, we like mm -hmm. the effect. What does this bring to the table? And it, it does bring quite a bit to yeah. the table. So uh, basically the effect which you can see in the trailer if you watch that, I must admit the trailer is a little bit tedious to watch. Oh, uh, only because it's filmed in French mm. and then um, over there. I mean, how good is your French? It's one of those, isn't it? People yeah. say, oh, the shot guys are difficult to understand, his English isn't very good, and I'm like, well, how good is your French? So, we, we can put up with it. Uh, but basically, ten cards are put in a glass, covered over, that's your prediction, you get the customer, uh, customer, customer. the uh, spectator, spectator. <laughs> to uh, pick, uh, so you spread the deck, and they uh, just take ten cards out of the deck, uh, they shuffle them up. They do, they mix them completely uh, up. Which is a nice element, that yeah. you just spread the deck, and they take ten cards out. Um, you then um, square them up, Put, put them in, in the glass. Put them in the glass. Cover the glass. Cover that one over as well. You then so you've do you've got your, two glasses with ten cards in each that are covered. Yeah, with handkerchiefs. Yeah, and you do your moment of magic. Yeah, and you lift off uh, one. Lift off the, at fingertips. At fingertips. One off. Just lift them off. Two put off. the cloth down. And um, you've got one with the back facing um, facing you, and the one that their cards were in. Uh, is actually facing outwards, so they yeah, can see the value. So they can say they see the front card, and um, then you turn around your prediction, yeah, and the well, front. When card you take goes. off the thing, everything looks like nothing has changed. Yeah. Um, but of course, when you turn around your glass, um, the they two front cards the match. First few cards match, which um, is brilliant. And it's Sorry, nice. Cough. <coughs> it's nice that he actually says, "Oh, that's a coincidence." Yeah. He's sort of like as if that wasn't, you know, really it wasn't the, planned. The thing. Wasn't written. So it's all oh, that's a coincidence. The front two cards are the same, and then of course as he takes them off. Second two, third two, fourth two, and then it just goes on, and then they all they yeah. all match. They're all the same, and you can pass them out. They can. It's a very magician thing, isn't it? You can hand the cards out. I mean, yeah, you can. It's meant for a parlor or something. <laughs> because you show, can doesn't mean you should. But if <laughs> yeah. they want to grab them, they can. You just clean up your class, move the glasses, and you're mm. good to go. The, ni the nice thing is with the cards because they are normal cards. When you take them out of uh, the glass. Uh, if the spectator stood right next to you, which they probably will be, you can just drop the cards yeah, on the table. Yeah, throw them on the table and nothing. The, the cards are completely clean, so there's nothing f for them to spot that's untoward, so you haven't got to bother about hiding them. It's not an effect where you need everyone to be sat down because no. you can't show the cards. And if you're performing it without a table, this is the nice bit in my head to frame it, because I would do this at a parlour show, and if I was doing mm -hmm. like a front room show without a table, if you've got a spectator holding the glass, and holding the glass, they can put their other hand out and you can empty it into their hands. That's mm -hmm. absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, it's but, brilliant. But all of the cards that you're revealing are completely ungaffed, uh, so there's nothing to worry about in that respect. No. And um, it is easy to do. That See, this, that's why we move on to. It is easy to do and it is easy to remember. I've watched it and can now mm -hmm. remember how to do it. Um, there's no big dirty moment really like there is with uh, some of the other effects. Mm -hmm. There's no you don't need any card manipulation skills to be able to do it. The other reason why we say it's easy to do, we, we were just talking, we, we both do parlour stroke cabaret shows, but it's not like we're doing two or three a week. No. So the material that you're doing them, the routines need to be, if there's a lot involved, then it's hard to remember. Yeah, it's either my close-up stuff but play bigger, which I remember because mm. I am doing multiple close-up gigs a week, mm. or it's stuff that I'll have to go through the night before. Just to like, make sure. Um, yeah. Cody's comedy book test is something that I do a lot, and I always, the night before, just sit down and remind myself of the numbers mm -hmm. and the workings. This would be the same. Mm -hmm. um, well, no, this, this, would, be this same. would be the same. Sort the of older trick, version but, yeah. was the same. They used to have to sit so down synthetic and go ten, through it. I'll have to, I'd have to memorise it. Um, and we will talk about synthetic ten. It's still a very nice effect. One mm -hmm. thing that that does that this doesn't is you have a reverse card which matches, which mm -hmm. makes it another level. Um, but yeah, you have to. I have to memorise it. I have to make sure everything's in the mm -hmm. right order. The synthetic ten has the. Um, 
pull down of the handkerchief and it changes. Yeah, it changes. Uh, <clears throat> which gives you another magical moment if we're sort of comparing the two yeah. like for like. The, the angles on that are not good, so it depends if people are to your sides or a bit to the back of you, which sometimes people are. I know it's not ideal, but people sometimes do work in situations where yeah. you end up and people listen and you think, oh, I can't do that trick because of where everybody's sat. So the angles on this are much, much better, I'd say. Easier to control, they're yeah. easier to control. <coughs> the, yeah, the, the, the way it all works, I'd almost say you could do it 360 almost this. Almost, um, yeah. yeah. The, the angles are very, very good. Yeah, very good. Just uh, the, the way that the method kicks in, it deliver, it protects mm -hmm. itself, which is always nice. Mm -hmm. um, that's it really, it's, it's just a really nice simple version to do. You're not going to have to memorise it, it is strong. Mm -hmm. You've got multiple people that are playing it. The plot is easy to follow, it's not one of these convoluted no, card was, tricks. Yeah. You, everyone that watches it realises what's going on. They say confusion isn't magic, don't they, in they some do. tricks, because there's all sorts of things going on. It's a very simple plot. Yeah. The spectators can understand what's happened. Um, we, we talked about one thing, which, which was when they take ten cards, and shuffle them up if they notice say the ace of spades was in their selection and then when you do the reveal the ace of spades isn't in there you think well that doesn't quite sound right but it's magic that yeah that's it's a magical so the idea is, is that the so. cards change and all go back into order yeah i mean what i said to you and um i said to you to remind me to say it on here if you're just doing this as a look 10 cards have changed to be the 10 cards that that we had I think that's only half the effect. If you can build that in to a story, to uh, a part of a bigger thing, then it's much stronger. This mm -hmm. is like a, a really nice bit of magic, but it should be, it should be a performance piece. Mm -hmm. And I would make sure you have to hype it up as well, because if you do it and they just go, oh yeah, the cards match, that's clever. It shouldn't be clever. It should be. And also the energy magic. needs to grow. When you watch the demo, it's all very um, dead it's difficult. Level. You're performing to somebody, I, I presume it's the translator's girlfriend. Yeah, because um, she's in all the videos. Yeah, isn't they're she, performing but... to each other and she knows, she's seen it. If you ever tried filming magic when a magic trailer, <laughs> they know, they've seen it. Um, three times. Yeah, maybe they'd done that five times yeah. before they got the so, tape or whatever. And um, um, the performance doesn't do it justice. But I do think I think anyone that's ever worked synthetic ten or something like this will look at it and go, "Yeah, that's the, okay. That's good. I know it works. What's new? And I just want to promise you that this is worth the investment for a new way to do it mm -hmm. that is clean. Uh, don't get me wrong. If you work in synthetic ten and you're sympathetic ten and you're really happy with it. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to try and say, buy this, it's, it's better, you've still got an effect that works, because mm. we're honest. If, but, if you're looking for some slightly cleaner way of doing the trick. Yeah, or if you've not ever done this trick before, and looking for a good way to come into it, this is a really good way to come into it, so mm. let us know what you think, check yeah. out the trailer. The uh, price of it is uh, 46 47 so uh, we were just talking about prices actually, weren't we, and we were saying that, you know, we think, oh, £46, that's expensive, but, um, but when you've been in Magic for 10 years plus... The price is 10 years ago when you started where most tricks were sort of between 20 and 30 pounds um now when something goes over 40 pounds you think gosh that's expensive <laughs> but we were just saying when you went for a drink years ago yeah there's this um, theory isn't it that everyone always thinks a pint costs how much a pint used to cost when they drank mm -hmm. so when i was you're going out all the time and it was two pound a pint 180 185 a pint mm -hmm. for me when i go to a bar now and i get to get don't get changed from a tenner from two mm -hmm. pints and i'm like um this is this is weird but it's yeah. just it's just the way things are in, in general prices double every 10 years that's is that what, true that's what they say on well, sort of average so if something was 10 pound 10 years ago then it should be 20 today so, so 20 30 pound tricks nowadays should be 60 pounds 50 60 pounds crazy isn't it so uh, we really do get good value compared mm. to that with magic and, and people also say about the dvds oh we don't get a dvd anymore but the dvd isn't free it costs money yeah and the way to keep the cost down on a lot of these projects is to literally shave the prices as low as you can. I mean, DVDs are great, but I am in the middle of looking to move house. Mm -hmm. And I've just said to you, I can't, I've got all these DVDs to box up. Down those, they, they just come with you, they're, they're, they're there. Speaking of pricing though, we've got yeah. a new system. Uh, that's right, one thing that we announced uh, on our last on our birthday. vlog, on our birthday, because we're five years old, if you missed that. Um, our new loyalty program, yeah, uh, which basically gives you, uh, for instance, this one 46 um, points, for instance, if you buy that from us, and you, they're worth 5p each, and you can use them immediately on your next purchase. So since being five, we've made the points worth five times what they used to be worth. Mm -hmm. That's the way that I remember it. So yep. um, you can either and, knock um, them, spend your points, keep your points, save them for a big thing. Yeah. 
So or by, knock them by off. that, you've got two pound twenty-five off your next purchase. Brilliant. Which might sound a lot, but if it's might not sound a lot, might but, sound a lot. But, but, if, but if it's a twenty-pound purchase, then that's ten percent off, more than ten percent off. Yeah. Uh, your next purchase, save it up by two or that's three. Why, that's why. I mean, people, that, especially if you have to buy, if you buy replanable. So if people that mm. buy um, glue offers, people mm. that buy things that desperately need replacing, mm. I'm trying to think. Well, we've got playing cards, oh, playing cards, you know, sponge balls, things that get lost. It's quite strange because you, you, I don't know about you. I hate paying for playing cards because you don't get anything from it because you just use them. If you know, it's a bit like flash paper. You, you need flash it. Flash paper's a good one as well. You need flash paper if you do effects with flash paper, obviously. Uh, I just I just put it into the cost of the business. I don't even think about it. It's just an expense yeah. that pays that, that goes in. Same as putting petrol. I hate buying petrol because you yeah. get nothing from it. But you need. I know it. what you mean. But so it's um, nice to be able to offset the points against something that. Um, yeah, if you buy, that's a good point. If you use a lot of flash paper, mm -hmm. by the end of your month, you've probably got like a five pound off mm -hmm. a, a release. By the end of two months. That's, uh, that's yeah. £10 off and eventually you're thinking there's always that thing that everyone wants and they never quite justify mm. it. Everyone's got one, mm. I've got one, mm. I've got a couple and to get those yeah. points knocked off. And the other thing we've got is the free postage option as well. Um, if you want quicker options like first class and next day delivery you can upgrade to those. Free, yeah, save it. Uh, but they're, they're priced below um, the PMP costs. Are I've still got those signed pictures to sell, get those with your points. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So uh, the, lots of initiatives and things that we're doing here at Sat Magic with more to come. With more to come, definitely. Yeah. But today we just wanted to add this on to the review show because we missed it. It is Clones by John Pierre. Yeah, it's recommended. Valerino. You, you get the handkerchiefs. Uh, you get everything you need apart a, from a couple a, of gimmicks as well. Yeah, you need um, you need two glasses and a red deck and a blue deck. Yeah, yeah. You need to play your own deck. Uh, uh, little little tip that I use that I got from you. We take obviously you can use wine glasses that are on the venue because um, as long as the cards fit in. But we both use plastic mm -hmm. um, picnic wine glasses. They still look nice. They don't. They don't chip. They don't drop. They don't mm -hmm. smash. They do drop. They don't smash. Yeah. So that's well worth checking out. And they're they're a couple of quid. I got mine that's from right. um, Sainsbury's. Now's the perfect time of year to do it. Yeah, well. all the picnic stuff. All the barbecue stuff. And, and if you do have an accident and crack one on the way, well, you're not going to no put liquid in them yeah. anyway. So no one gets hurt. <laughs> Nobody shatters. Nothing shatters. Nothing yeah, and you hurt, can still so. use it, uh, and then just replace it next time. Yeah. So uh, anyway, check this out. We thoroughly like it. Yeah, we do. We recommend it. Remember. Yeah. This is a review, not an insight, so we're not mm -hmm. pretending that we've worked it yet, but I know... No, I'm certainly going to, going to. The one reason gonna. that we can't, you were like, oh, I'm going to work it tonight, but with the ones we've got in have sold, haven't they? So mm -hmm. we are now waiting for the man to arrive with some, but we will definitely uh, check it out. We'll probably do an insight yeah, after. After we've done it, tell yeah, you how it goes. Tell you how it goes. But uh, for now, thank you very much. Um, check out the new point system if you don't understand it. It is, it is on the website, isn't it? And you it can is. see exactly how much you get. I think we should do a whiteboard presentation but basically you get five times as many points as you did before we were twelve, before we were five years old. Yeah, which means you can spend them that much quicker. There you go. Right, thank you very much. See you later. Bye. <laughs>